I will miss seeing Boston all the time, but we'll have a new city to admire. So you gotta breathe. Good morning guys. Welcome to another day in the fry life. We are going on a very important trip. We're headed into the hospital to pick up more of Mary's Vertex medication. She runs out today, so we have to go pick up more. So we are off. We'll see you guys on the road. Nothing <coughs> <coughs> like a little car chest PT on the way into the city. <laughs> Got a little stuck in my esophagus. <laughs> it seems like, kind of like, every few days, my mucus is a little different. Like some days it comes out easily and cough and there it goes. But some days it's like this. <sighs> and... <laughs> but that is of course a lot easier than hacking our brains out all day every day <sighs> triple combo for the win yeah those flowers like and then like the open window oh wait you totally can't see it hey cars you want to move forward a little I'm trying to film this beautiful window okay look at that an open window with flowers blowing like does that not look like straight from France or something I don't think the windows open oh well but. It's still beautiful. <laughs> I will miss seeing Boston all the time, but we'll have a new city to admire. So we're gonna soak it up while we're here. And then go to our new city with new sights and new things and new scary roads like this one. Probably less of that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> love all the ivy on the buildings. I just think that is so cool. Oh, wowzy. Okay, I wanted to film that street that's going uphill. It's so beautiful. I'm trying to capture the Boston stuff, but then that truck almost ran into us. So that was scary. Boston. Never been to Boston in the fall. Actually, I have. I'm really glad Ollie's doing better than he was yesterday. I know the sleepy meds were um, necessary to get the x-rays that they needed for him but oh it was so sad to see him so out of it like in the car ride from the vet to the house he was so like out of it and then when we'd like hit a bump he'd be like huh oh it was so sad but he's obviously back to his amazing happy ollie self today um we're waiting to order the medication we need for him for the arthritis but he's obviously happy to come along for the ride for me to run in and go get the uh, medication and then we'll be headed back home after we get some lunch. All right, Mary is going in to pick up the drugs because she Vertex can. We're going to loop around because I can't sit out here. I got the goods and also some vitamins. I Vertex can. Woo! Another thing that we are going to miss here in Boston, although I know we're gonna find all kinds of new food places in Durham, but I have loved Clover, this vegetarian restaurant near Mary's Hospital. Well, there's a few all over the city. And uh, it used to be a food truck and now it's like restaurants. Uh, but the chickpea fritter sandwich, and I just ate one that I hadn't had before, which was a Japanese sweet potato sandwich, which was really good. And um, anyways. So basically it's like, so chickpea Chick fried in a ball, like a meatball, but chickpea. Basically falafel. 
and then a pita, hummus, the red cabbage and carrots, cucumber, tomato, pickles it looks like. It's good. Mmm. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll miss that. Although, I ate it, I, I pretty much wore it out there for a season because I ate it while Mary would be in the hospital. Anyways. Because it's like, when you're in the hospital, it's either hospital food, so pizza, or like the hot food version in the cafeteria, like chicken or whatever. Yeah. Hospital food or like takeout, so pizza. <laughs> uh, burgers or yep, burgers. stuff like that. So and this, this is like always a good... real food. It's like real carrots and real food and so it kind of feels... It doesn't make you feel gross after you eat it. Yeah. Plus it's right down the street from my hospital, so... Yep. Yeah, it's a good hospital food. I always remember like when you would bring it at night, I just felt so gross from like, I don't know, hospital pudding or something, feeling like all gross and bloated with diarrhea and nausea from the IVs and stuff. And then you'd bring this and I was like, real food. Mm. It's good. It's good. Wow, so we walked down to our favorite place. Where's the sign? Where's the sign? It's called Boston Tea Stop. Boston Tea Stop. And that's where we get our little... Honeydew boba tea. Ooh. Honeydew milk tea with boba. And this time I got a chocolate espresso mochi. Oh my goodness. So have you had these? I think once, but... Okay, I want to see what you think. Oh, wait, is it ice cream? Mmm. Let me see. It's good. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's frozen! Mm-hmm. I don't even know it's frozen. Ice cream's usually frozen. They're not all ice cream. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm. Cool. I, I like, like that. It. Me too. That was a good choice. Okay. Do you want to sit sit here and drink it, or do you want to walk somewhere? Yeah, we could sit here. So we're just gonna sit here. We just parked down there. It was like a what a block or two. Yeah. It was like a wonderful walk in the city. It's warm and delightful out. Our review of the mochi is. It's so good. We he went back in and got us another one. I went in it's there so and I said, can I buy another mochi? My wife ate mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was what, $1.75? Mm -hmm. So delicious. <coughs> Time to pick up more meds. I thought I was super tired yesterday because I was up at six o'clock in the morning. But today I wasn't up at six o'clock and I am feeling pretty tired, but I have been packing like crazy the last month. So hey, Mary it's kind Fry. of understandable. You it's okay, buddy. You can be tired. I dare you not to say hey guys. Hi guys. <laughs> we, I went out for a little while and got some work done getting ready for my last sermon at the church on Sunday and kind of a final charge and yeah been working on that but I came home and it was pouring and I had it uh, tightened the cover on the boat so it had like this pool of water in the cover so I needed to stand out in the rain and take care of that and then I did some packing while Mary did some exercise 
because this packing stuff is coming together and then today we realized there might be a hiccup in our plan for our moving truck and uh, so we had to sit on the phone for a while this afternoon and figure all that out and we're still working out the details in terms of its pickup and drop off and all that but I, I think it'll work out one way or another and all the details guys there's just a lot of details but we're making some macaroni because we don't have too much food and we have macaroni to use up so and we want to finish up as many groceries as we can yeah yeah that's been kind of like our mission is to all right what can we make out of the food we have and we should evaluate what we have left and have them come up with a creative meal option okay okay we have half a box of spaghetti mercola cough drops we have peanut butter, very young, small sweet peas. Okay. Uh, tuna, tuna. And sun ripened tomatoes, tomatoes. And two cans of tomato paste. And maple syrup. <laughs> so, Ready, set, go. Give us some Actually, recipe ideas in the comments. What? That is like exactly what Elf loves to eat for breakfast. spaghetti noodles and maple, maple syrup. syrup yes I feel like you could do something like maple uh, no I'm just gonna gross myself out yeah I okay <laughs> crimmage <laughs> okay so we're gonna eat our macaroni we have some friends coming over to, to visit with them and I don't know, we'll probably try to get a little more packing done. But. Ollie's completely back to himself. Oh yeah. Happy perky Ollie. Totally. And that's good news. And on the exercising front, I had to take a few days off when I was having really bad headaches. And also when I was working like all day on packing with my mom, I needed to like funnel my energy into lots of packing. But besides, I have like a checklist on my phone so I can keep track of my workout. It just helps me, I think it helps me feel accomplished because I can do little check marks and stuff. And then I felt like, oh, I had to skip so many days, but really I only skipped, if I remember correctly, I skipped two days. So anyway, I'm continuing on the days that I'm able to, to do my workout and my arm workout. And um, I'm just thankful. I think after those headache days, like when I was on the mat today working out, I was just really thankful I didn't have a headache because it's just the, my headaches anyway, like breathing really exacerbates the stabbing pain in my head. So deep breathing and working out isn't really an option when I have those headaches. But anyway, got it done for today. Today was a long one, 35 minutes. And I'm exhausted from our day, but happy and thankful i was able to clear out a couple more cabinets and like packed more of the kitchen um our silverware drawer is cleaned out now so i have some silverware in this mug and then our sugar container i put the i packed the sugar container so i just poured the sugar in this paper bag and i packed the coffee what's it canister so i just put them in a ziploc and yeah just packing, pack, pack, packing. And you were packing down in the basement? Yeah. That's awesome. There's not a whole lot left to pack down there. I don't know, it's just all the little things that add up, but yeah, I guess. I feel like we okay, need to there. just like bite the bullet and just pack everything up and be like, let's go in survival mode and camp out for the next few days. So what do you mean? Like, just go ahead and pack everything. <laughs> like what though? I don't know, like, like what? All of the dishes. Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I guess we're packing up our life. I guess. We had a sweet night hanging out with our friends and saying goodbye to them before we move. And thankfully with the world of technology, it doesn't feel like goodbyes so much as see you in a different way but Ollie's representing all of us right now <laughs> saying, let's go to bed. Mm -hmm. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Don't you think